What's up guys, it's Josh from Soul Studios, back here with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about, does a digital clock make a difference? And if there is a difference, is it enough of a difference for you to consider adding one to your studio? So the clock that we're gonna to use today is the Mutech MC3 Plus. And I did a lot of research. This isn't the first time I've owned a master clock, but it's the first time in a while. And the reason I went with one is that I added two more interfaces over the past couple of weeks. I picked up a couple of Lynx Aurora 16 HDs to add to the two Avid HDIO 16 by 16 analog units that I have. So now I have 64 channels of analog in and out, A to D and D to A. And so I thought it'd be a good time for me to give a master clock another run. I previously, when I had more channels in the past, had used an Apogee Big Ben, and I was happy with the results I got from that, but I never really extensively tested it in the way that I'm going to do today. And so what we're gonna do is use the Mutech as the master and send separate clock feeds out to each interface. Then we're gonna try using the Avid as the master clock feeding the Mutech, and then the Mutech distributing that clock to the other interfaces. And then we will try the Lynx Aurora as the master feeding the Mutech and then the Mutech distributing that clock to the other interfaces. And then also just trying to use the Avid as the master and daisy chain down to the other interfaces. And then we'll try the Lynx as the master and daisy chain to the other interfaces. And in those configurations, the Mutech will not be a part of the chain. But anyway, hopefully that's not too confusing. I will put text on the screen to let you know where you are as you're listening to a particular section. But we're gonna use the same section of the song so that everything's staying fair, everything's staying balanced. And we're gonna stem out 16 channels uh, to the Dangerous 2 bus. We're gonna sum those out so that we can get, you know, a little bit more of the conversion happening, as well as the things that were inserted on the mix, such as the, compressors and the external reverbs that I like to use and so forth. So I'm going to try to use the conversion as much as possible to see really what, if anything, the clock is doing. So just to let you know how I settled on the Mutech, uh, number one is price. The price is attractive on this one compared to a lot of the other options out there. Number two is the amount of word clock outputs. It has six. So that covers the four that I need at the moment, then gives me a little bit of room to grow if I wanna add more channels down the road. So how we're gonna use it today, like I said, is as a master clock and then as a clock distributor, but just also know that it can re-clock if anybody were in a situation where they may have an old CD deck or something and you want to run that through the Mutech and upsample your old CDs to 96K or something, for example. Just know that there are a lot of options that I will not get into in this review for the sake of keeping the video from getting too long. But this is a really versatile clock. Don't let the size fool you for sure, even though it's a smaller unit, which I actually like because I don't wanna to have to take up a rack space for it. I can put it on top of the rack. But one thing I did want to cover before we get into the audio examples here, let's take a look at the back panel of the Mutech. And like I said before, there are six word clock outputs. The other thing to note, you have Toslink, you have AES, you have SPDIF, and you have a word clock input that we're going to use today. But it's worth noting that that also accepts a 10M signal. So if you have the budget to get one of the 10M master clocks and then wanted to use the Mutech to distribute that to others, just know that it's one of the few that I found that can accept that signal. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's get into the audio examples here and then we'll chat a bit at the end. Check it out. Doing our best. We're doing our best. 
doing our best We don't always get it right Climbing up the mountainside The view is better from up high Doing our best All right, guys, what did you think? Uh, I have some thoughts. I don't want to say too much, mainly because I want to use your feedback in this situation. I feel pretty good about what I heard from the Mutech, but I don't want to say it was this particular thing or that because I would rather hear from you guys and see if you're hearing the same thing I'm hearing. I'm most curious to hear if it comes through on different systems. I know what I heard in my studio, I'm curious to know what you heard and if you wouldn't mind sharing when you comment and say your thoughts on it, if you could list your monitoring situation, that would be cool to give me a little bit more feedback as to what's being heard and what settings. But anyway, I hope you found this useful. I should have said up front, but this was not a sponsored or endorsed review by any means. This is a unit I purchased by myself from Vintage King. And I hope you found it informative as far as what a master clock may or may not do in a multi-interface setup. And if you like what you heard and think you might want to check it out, I'd be curious to know what it does in your setup as well. All right, guys, while you're here, before you go, if you will subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, you'll be the first to know when the next review or video comes out. Got some more reviews coming up from Stam Audio, from Iron Age Audio Works, and if you will ring that bell, you'll be the first to know. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate your time. Until the next one, see you then.